Starting a dropshipping business is a tough gig. Even though it seems easy for someone to source products and import reviews from AliExpress, it's estimated that nine out of 10 of every company will fail within their first four months. Those who do succeed spend most of their resources on advertising since paid marketing is one of the best ways to push a dropshipping product. So does this mean that the dropshipping business model doesn't work? Absolutely not. Many people have found success with dropshipping and you can too. You just need to be aware of the possible pitfalls and know how to overcome them. So let's talk about the main reason dropshipping businesses fail and how you can avoid these pitfalls. The first is poor marketing. Before you start your business, you should conduct market research. Doing your research will help tell you what people want and what they're willing to pay for it. Once you get started, marketing serves not only to pitch your products, but also to set expectations as to what your buyers will consider satisfactory. The second mistake is targeting the wrong niche. Selecting the right niche is one of the biggest problems facing inexperienced dropshippers. If you pick the wrong one, you might never get an order. That's because in the dropshipping business, you're not only competing with other dropshippers, you're also trying to take on behemoths like Amazon, eBay, and Alibaba. So then how do you pick the right niche? The answer is by picking an e-commerce niche with the highest conversion rate. And I'll leave a link below so that you can see what the niches with the highest conversion rates are. You also have to study current and projected trends before trying out a product that seems like the right fit. The next reason dropshipping businesses fail is lack of patience. Starting a dropshipping company requires plenty of patience. You have to be willing to experiment and fail time and time again as you look for that golden needle in the haystack. The problem is that most beginners underestimate just how much patience they'll need. And to give you an idea, you'll have to test on average around 20 products before finding the one that sells. So arm yourself with patience and persistence and don't get discouraged. Now let's talk about poor conversion rate optimization as a reason dropshipping stores fail. If your website design is unattractive or clunky, it will put off potential customers. Keep in mind that the look and feel of your website will define how much people trust you. Be sure to check out our other video on the best page builders for Shopify so that you can create a site that builds trust immediately. Once you've spruced up your site, you need to make sure that the product listings are compelling enough to convert your potential customers. Next up is the poor choice of suppliers. You'll probably have to partner with a company from China and your average shipping time will be around 20 days. This means that your customer's waiting time will be 20 times longer than if they used Amazon. That's all the more reason for people to flock to them instead of buying from you. That's why it's essential to partner with the right company. You'll wanna find a supplier that can give you a tracking link so that your customers can trap their packages. And the final reason drop shipping businesses fail is poor business operations. Even after the customer receives their package, it's your responsibility to stay in touch with them until you're certain they're satisfied with their purchase. This is going to help you get great reviews and in turn, sell to more people. Then the question is, should you start a dropshipping company? Given everything we've said so far, you might feel disheartened about starting a dropshipping company. Yet you really shouldn't be. Even though building and managing a dropshipping business is more challenging than it looks, this entry barrier acts as a moat that protects those who are persistent enough to reach their goals. All you have to do is work as hard as you can to get your business across the finish line and you'll be able to enjoy all the fruits of your labor. And don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can stay updated on the latest tips and tricks in e-commerce. Happy selling!